Welcome to our sports briefing show, where we dive into the whirlwind world of sports, bringing you the latest and most captivating stories. Today, we're covering a range of events that have fans buzzing, from baseball diamonds to the hardwood floors of college basketball, and even the retirement of a baseball icon. First up, let's talk about Pablo Sandoval, the beloved former San Francisco Giants third baseman, who's making headlines by signing with the Staten Island Ferry Hawks. At 37, Sandoval's passion for baseball is far from dimming, with talks of a future in coaching being whispered around. His significant contributions to the Giants' World Series victories have left an indelible mark on the sport, showcasing his undying love for the game. Switching gears to women's college basketball, where history was made in the Final Four game between Iowa and Connecticut. This game shattered viewing records, becoming the most-watched basketball game ever aired on ESPN. With 14.2 million viewers tuning in, Thanks in part to star guard Caitlin Clark, this game has marked a significant milestone for women's sports, showing just how much excitement and talent is thriving in women's basketball today. And on a more somber note, we bid farewell to Steven Strasburg, the MVP of the 2019 World Series, who has decided to retire at the age of 35. Despite recent injuries, Strasburg's legacy with the Washington Nationals, particularly his key role in their 2019 championship, remains untouched. His retirement marks the end of an era for the Nationals and their fans. From the enduring passion of Pablo Sandoval for baseball to the record-breaking viewership of a women's college basketball game and the retirement of a World Series MVP, today's stories reflect the diverse and dynamic nature of sports. Whether it's about pursuing one's love for the game, breaking barriers and setting new records, or gracefully concluding a storied career, these narratives showcase the profound impact sports have on individuals and society. So, stay tuned for more details on these stories and others as we continue to explore the captivating world of sports. Please keep watching for more in-depth coverage. In a heartwarming display of passion for baseball, Pablo Sandoval, the former San Francisco Giants third baseman, recently signed a contract with the Staten Island Ferry Hawks in the Atlantic League of Professional Baseball. This news, as reported by Yahoo US, has caught the attention of many, including manager Bob Melvin, who couldn't help but praise Sandoval's undying love for the game. Melvin highlighted that Sandoval, at the age of 37, continues to showcase his dedication to baseball, hinting that his journey might not stop here, a future in coaching could be on the cards for the two-time MLB All-Star. Sandoval's significant contributions to San Francisco's three World Series winning teams have left an indelible mark on the sport, showcasing his talent and passion for the game. Switching gears to women's college basketball, an extraordinary event unfolded as reported by the Washington Post. The Final Four game between Iowa and Connecticut shattered records, becoming the most-watched basketball game ever aired on ESPN. With an average of 14.2 million viewers and a peak of 17 million, this game surpassed the previous record held by Game 7 of the 2018 Eastern Conference Finals. The surge in popularity for women's basketball, particularly this game, can be attributed to star guard Caitlin Clark, who has become the NCAA's all-time leading scorer this season. Clark's remarkable achievements and the historic performance of the teams have contributed to the unprecedented viewership, marking a significant milestone for women's sports. In a more somber note, the Washington Post also reported the retirement of Steven Strasburg, the MVP of the 2019 World Series. Strasburg, who has spent his entire career with the Washington Nationals, has decided to hang up his cleats at the age of 35. His career, although illustrious, was marred by injuries in recent years, limiting him to just four and two-thirds innings since undergoing surgery for thoracic outlet syndrome in 2021. Despite these challenges, Strasburg's legacy as a key player in securing the Nationals' first championship in 2019 remains untouched. His decision to retire brings an end to a remarkable career that has left a lasting impact on the franchise and its fans. These stories, from the enduring passion of Pablo Sandoval for baseball to the record-breaking viewership of a women's college basketball game and the retirement of a World Series MVP, illustrate the diverse and dynamic nature of sports. Each narrative, whether it's about continuing to pursue one's love for the game, breaking barriers and setting new records, or gracefully concluding a storied career, reflects the profound impact sports have on individuals and society as a whole. In the world of sports and entertainment, the thrill of victory and the agony of defeat are ever-present, painting the lives of athletes and performers with broad strokes of triumph and challenge. From the baseball diamond to the high seas, and even inside the squared circle, the stories of Evan Carter, Brianna Whitehead, and the superstars of WrestleMania 40 captivate and inspire. Starting with the tale of resilience on the baseball field, as reported by the Associated Press, 
Texas Rangers left fielder Evan Carter, affectionately dubbed Full Count Carter, during his minor league days, demonstrated the true spirit of perseverance. Despite a challenging 0-4-15 start to his first full season in the MLB, Carter's patience at the plate led him to lead the American League with seven walks. His persistence paid off when he finally landed his first two hits of the season in a victory over the Houston Astros. Carter's journey, marked by an impressive .306 batting average with five homers and 12 RBIs in just 23 games in 2023, and reaching base in all 17 postseason games, serves as a testament to the power of never giving up, no matter the odds. Across the globe, as ABC highlights, Australian Formula kite sailor Brianna Whitehead soared to new heights at the prestigious Princess Sofia Regatta in Spain. Winning her class and claiming the overall award with the lowest number of points across all 10 classes, Whitehead's victory not only marked her as a medal hopeful for the upcoming Olympics but also positioned her as only the second Australian to win the coveted Princessa Sofia overall trophy. Joining the ranks of Olympic gold medalists Matt Belcher and Will Ryan, Whitehead's triumph at this key event in the lead-up to the Olympics boosts her confidence and cements her status as a formidable competitor on the world stage. Meanwhile, in the electrifying world of professional wrestling, Yahoo US reports that WrestleMania 40 brought the excitement to Philadelphia with a star-studded two-night event. The first night featured a seven-match card headlined by a tag-team match pitting Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins against Roman Reigns and The Rock, marking The Rock's highly anticipated in-ring return. With matches spanning from high-flying tag-team challenges to intense championship bouts, WrestleMania 40 lived up to its reputation as one of the biggest events on the WWE calendar. The spectacle, streamed live on Peacock in the US and the WWE Network globally, showcased the athleticism, drama, and sheer entertainment value that only WWE can deliver, making it a must-watch for fans around the world. These stories, from the determination of Evan Carter and Brianna Whitehead to the spectacle of WrestleMania 40, underscore the diverse and dynamic nature of sports and entertainment. Whether it's battling through a slump, conquering the waves, or stepping into the ring, the heart and spirit of competitors shine brightly, reminding us all of the power of perseverance, the thrill of competition, and the universal appeal of a good comeback story. In the ever-evolving world of football, the rumor mill is spinning at full speed, as reported by Yahoo US. Among the whispers and potential moves, Fulham is eyeing a strategic acquisition with 28-year-old England midfielder Calvin Phillips, currently on loan at West Ham from Manchester City. The allure of Phillips is so strong that his hometown club, Leeds United, is also reportedly ready to fork out 30 to 40 million pounds to bring him back into the fold. Meanwhile, Manchester City is planning to secure the future of their midfield maestro, Rodri, with a lucrative pay rise, aiming to keep the 27-year-old at the club for the remainder of his career. In a twist of international interest, Arsenal and Chelsea have set their sights on Swedish striking sensation Victor Gjokeris. However, snagging him from Sporting Lisbon won't come cheap, with a staggering £85.8 million price tag attached. Across the city, Atletico Madrid is casting glances towards Fulham's Brazilian midfielder, Andreas Pereira, showcasing the global nature of football's transfer market. The managerial merry-go-round is also in full swing. Manchester United is taking a patient approach with Eric Ten Hag, deciding to wait until season's end to make a call on his future amid mounting pressure. In a surprising turn of events, former Chelsea and Everton boss Frank Lampard emerges as a candidate to lead Canada's national team, illustrating the unpredictable nature of football management. Switching gears to the world of baseball, Yahoo US reports on the candid feedback from Oakland A's and San Francisco Giants players about Sacramento Sutter Health Park, the A's future home starting 2025. Players like Tyler Fitzgerald, Patrick Bailey, and Zach Jeloff have voiced concerns over the park's lack of amenities and the need for substantial upgrades. Despite the criticisms, Tristan Beck of the Giants finds the Sacramento heat manageable and believes the park has the potential to host an MLB team, highlighting the diverse opinions within the sport. In a heartwarming conclusion to a long-awaited dream, the Associated Press shares the triumph of athletic Bilbao in the Copa del Rey. After a grueling match that went to penalties, Bilbao emerged victorious over Mallorca, clinching their first Copa del Rey title in 40 years. The win was a cathartic moment for the team, ending a streak of six successive final defeats. The match saw emotions run high, with Danny Rodriguez putting Mallorca ahead, only for Oyhan Sanset to level for Athletic, setting the stage for a dramatic penalty shootout victory. This victory not only marks a monumental moment for Athletic Bilbao but also serves as a testament to the unpredictable and exhilarating nature of football. In the world of sports, the past few days have been nothing short of a roller coaster, filled with moments of nostalgia, anticipation, and sheer basketball excitement.
From the baseball diamond to the hardwood, fans have been treated to stories that tug at the heartstrings and games that keep you on the edge of your seat. The sports world recently mourned the loss of a baseball legend, as reported by the Associated Press. Pat Zachary, a former Major League pitcher whose career was highlighted by a shared 1976 National League Rookie of the Year award and a pivotal role in the Cincinnati Reds World Series championship, passed away at the age of 71. Zachary, who was also part of a significant trade to the New York Mets for Tom Seaver, died following a lengthy illness at his son Josh's home in Austin, Texas. His death came just days before what would have been his 72nd birthday, marking the end of a storied career that left an indelible mark on Major League Baseball. Switching gears to the basketball court, Yahoo US shared an exhilarating preview of the 2024 national title game between Iowa and South Carolina. This matchup is not just a game, it's a historic moment for women's basketball. South Carolina, led by head coach Don Staley, is on the brink of an undefeated season, a feat achieved only nine times in the 41-year history of the women's tournament. On the other side, Iowa, powered by the incredible Caitlin Clark, seeks a storybook ending to a memorable season. The stakes couldn't be higher, with both teams having their eyes set on the prize, and the game serving as the final collegiate appearance for Iowa's stars. This clash is more than a game, it's a testament to the growth and excitement surrounding women's basketball. The madness of March continued as Yahoo US also covered Purdue's triumphant march into the national championship game. The Boilermakers, led by the towering presence of Zach Eddy, showcased a blend of skillful three-point shooting and dominant inside play to secure their victory over the North Carolina State Wolfpack. Eddie's performance, with 20 points and 12 rebounds, was a testament to his impact on the game, propelling Purdue past NC State's nine-game winning streak and into the spotlight of the national title game. This victory not only highlighted Purdue's balanced attack but also set the stage for what promises to be an unforgettable championship showdown. Each of these stories, from the diamond to the court, encapsulates the essence of sports, the celebration of careers that have left a lasting legacy, the anticipation of historic matchups, and the sheer thrill of competition at its highest level. As fans, we're reminded of the power of sports to inspire, to unite, and to create moments that, long after the final whistle, continue to resonate in our hearts and minds. In the world of sports, from the icy rinks of the NHL to the heated debates on social media and the clay courts of tennis, athletes and teams are pushing their limits and making headlines. Let's dive into some of the most captivating stories recently reported by Yahoo US and the Associated Press. Starting off on the ice, the Boston Bruins are facing a critical challenge as they gear up for the Stanley Cup playoffs. According to Yahoo US, the Bruins are experiencing difficulty in capitalizing on power plays, a situation that could potentially hinder their championship aspirations. While having an elite power play isn't a prerequisite for clinching the Stanley Cup, it undeniably boosts a team's chances. The Bruins, known for their formidable lineup and strategic prowess, are in dire need of regaining their momentum. The power play, an opportunity where they have an advantage over their opponents due to a penalty, could be the key to unlocking their full potential as they head into the playoffs. Switching gears to the basketball court, Iowa guard Gabby Marshall found herself at the center of a social media storm following a controversial foul call in the Hawkeyes' nail-biting final for win over UConn. The Associated Press reports that Marshall received hate comments after referees penalized UConn forward Aaliyah Edwards for an illegal screen, a decision that played a crucial role in Iowa's 71-69 victory. The call drew criticism from high-profile figures, including LeBron James and Kelsey Plum. Despite the backlash, Marshall's defensive performance against UConn star Paige Buchers was overshadowed by the controversy. Iowa coach Lisa Blutter came to Marshall's defense, condemning the immaturity of those attacking her player. On the tennis front, the U.S. Men's Clay Court Championship is setting the stage for an exhilarating final showdown between defending champion Francis Tiafo and top-seeded Ben Shelton, as reported by the Associated Press. Tiafo, who is aiming to become the first repeat champion since Steve Johnson in 2017 and 2018, secured his spot in the final by overcoming Luciano Dardari. On the other hand, Shelton demonstrated resilience by bouncing back from a first-set loss to defeat Tomas Martin Echeverri, setting up a highly anticipated final match. This clash isn't just about the championship title, it's also a chance for Tiafo to avenge his loss to Shelton at last year's US Open. These stories, from the icy challenges faced by the Boston Bruins to the social media storm endured by Gabby Marshall and the fierce competition on the clay courts, highlight the diverse and dynamic nature of the sports world. Athletes and teams continue to navigate victories, controversies, and comebacks, demonstrating the relentless spirit and passion that define competitive sports. Thank you for tuning in. 
The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 do brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 do brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6 Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 do brief via email.